we are now ready to look at our next design technique which is our high relief design the high relief design is a high design in your pewter that you need to fill with any filling medium to support it in order for your design not to lose any shape when you apply pressure to it so doing our high relief technique we're going to work from the front of our pewter in order to lift our pewter up from the back so i have again already traced my design in the same manner as i did the previous two designs i have flattened my pewter and now i need to add a little bit of lubricant before we get started so we're going to work on our lino sheet from the front of our design the pewter that i am working with is the pewter containing lead and it doesn't have a front and a back side so i can use any side of my pewter as my front and this one has got some scratches at the back so I've decided to use this side as my front just because it will polish better because I have less scratches on this side so placing my pewter front side up we're going to use our 0.5 millimeter ball tool and we need to draw our design from the front but we need to look at where we want to start so we're going to start again from the center of our design and then we're going to work our way out the reason why we're starting from the center of our design is because we need to think about our layering of our different heights so this area of our design is the highest and then below that is the connecting lines so that is why we start with this area and it is in the center of our design at the moment so working from the front of our pewter we're going to apply a medium pressure and in the same manner as we did all three previous designs we're going to draw out the outline of that central design using a medium to a hard pressure draw out the central design and repeat it if necessary to smooth out any bumps we then remove our lino but we keep our pewter face up we're going to take our paper stump with the sharp flat edge put it right at a flat angle and we're going to flatten towards our design with the tip of our paper stump pushing all of that height into our design again I'm starting a little bit away and I am pushing all of that height into my design you need to go all around your edges flatten the surrounding edge and always keep your entire pewter as flat as possible and then we need to define and tidy up so first we take our teflon tool and we flatten the little recess right up against our raised design again we move all around and then lastly we take our metal ball tool still working from the front of our pewter on our hard surface we do one time a trace around with a soft pressure just to tidy up our edges so if you do not have a lot of height here now we can now add some additional height working from the back of our pewter on our semi soft surface so we put our semi soft surface and our pewter we turn upside down so that we have our raised area lying downwards you can now take your paper stump with a soft tip 
not a sharp tip, a soft rounded tip and color in that raised area that we need to add some additional height. Again we're coloring in with a soft pressure because we don't want to see any visible lines from the front and I'm concentrating on the center of this design because I want a nice rounded shape from the front. So I'm concentrating a bit more on the center than on the edges and I can do this two to three times if I want. A little bit of height goes a long way. Once done I need to turn my pewter back face up on my hard surface, take my paper stump and I need to tidy up before I can continue. So again I'm flattening around my design pushing all of that extra height into the design. I then take my Teflon tool and I tidy up. I can already see that I'm more than happy with my height so I'm not going to repeat the previous step. I'm going to move on and I can tidy up my edges and that's the first design part done. So I've got some nice height out of that and I'm more than happy with it. So we can now move on to the next part of our design. So if I look at my design I again need to think about how I'm going to flatten the raised area once I have traced it. So I'm going to do the central pieces first before I do the two side designs. So to start off with I'm going to do the bottom one and then I'm going to do the big top one. So keeping my pewter face up I'm going to work now again on my semi soft surface. I'm going to use my 0.5 millimeter ball tool and I'm going to trace my design on the front of my pewter. Drawing towards me with a medium to a hard pressure. I can do both the top and the bottom parts in one design. Once I've done the tracing, I need to flatten my design on my hard surface. So, still working from the front of my design, I place my pewter on my hard surface and using my paper stump, I flatten towards my design. I then need to define and tidy up using the Teflon tool. I remove the little ridge around my design. And then we can add some additional height from the back. So I turn my pewter upside down, I place it on my soft surface and because these areas are so big I can work with my hands. I need to think about the next couple of design sections that we need to do which are these two pieces. So I don't want to lift up this design too much because then I won't be able to work on these two pieces. I'm gonna, if this becomes too high and I need to raise these two areas, this area is gonna flatten again when I press down on these two designs. So I'm only gonna raise this up very slightly just to give it a little bit of height. So I'm working with my hands with a very soft pressure 
and I just raise it ever so slightly. Turn my pewter back face up onto the hard surface and I need to tidy up again before I can continue. So working with my paper stump, I flatten the area around my design Tidy up with the Teflon tool again. And then I need to define with the metal ball tool. With a soft pressure, I trace the entire design And then we can continue with the next two pieces. So keeping my pewter face up, I now place it back onto my semi-soft surface. I can now do either these two big pieces or I can do the two small pieces. So I'm going to do the smaller one first. So working on the front of my pewter on my semi-soft surface using my 0.5 millimeter metal ball tool, I'm going to trace the design starting in the edge of my previous design with a medium to a hard pressure I draw out the outlines again I'm working towards me and I'm working with a even pressure throughout once done, I can remove my liner sheet, my semi-soft surface, place my pewter face up on the hard surface, and I need to flatten the surrounding areas. Again, I work towards my design, pushing all of that height, and you can see all of that height that I'm pushing into that design, and I'm not going to try and get too much into the small area with this paper stump. I get as close as I can and I continue on the other side as well. And then I take my Teflon tool and now I need to tidy up and define. And with the Teflon tool, we can now really get into this little tiny space here. Using the tip of the tool to flatten and define. then we need to tidy up again with our metal ball tool with a soft pressure we trace our design to smooth out any bumps on the edge so we can now add some extra height on this so we turn our pewter upside down place it on our soft surface and we can add some extra height using our rounded soft tip paper stump you don't want to press hard this is a soft pressure that I'm using if I press too hard on these edges I'm going to lose my shape so I'm stopping always a little bit before and that should be more than enough so we need to again turn our pewter face up on our hard surface and we need to tidy up the front. So first we flatten with the paper stump and then we define and tidy up with the Teflon tool. I'm going a little bit over the rest of my design as well 
just to make sure that everything is nice and flat. There we go. So now we can do the last two design pieces. So back onto our liner, still working on the front of our pewter. We're going to take our 0.5 millimeter ball tool and draw out the outlines using a medium to a hard pressure. So if you need to pick up your hand to turn your pewter, I always start a little bit to the back, not right where I stopped. I start a little bit to the back and I even out my pressure as I go. This avoids any little bumps forming where the two lines connect. Do the same on the other side of my design. And then move a little bit over where the two lines connect and now we need to flatten so we remove our semi soft surface place our pewter face up on our hard surface we use our paper stump and we flatten the design around again pushing all of that height into our design to raise it up I'm not flattening like this. I'm flattening with my paper stump pointed towards my design and I work towards it. And then we need to define and tidy up with the Teflon tool. And then we need to tidy up the edges by tracing with a soft pressure once over using our metal ball tool. Okay, now we can add some height from the back. So back onto our soft surface, we turn our pewter face down and we can now add our final height to the central piece as well and then to the two new side pieces. So they are again fairly big, so I can use my hands and color in with a light pressure to add some additional height. Doing a little bit of height overall and then apply a little bit of extra height or pressure onto this central piece and I would like to have a little bit of a ridge here so I'm applying a bit more pressure on the center I do the same at the bottom and then we need to define and tidy up the front of our design again so we turn our pewter back to the front and we take our paper stump and we flatten around our entire design. Again, we're pushing all of that extra height into our design. And then we need to tidy up with the Teflon tool. Here we 
go. So you can now go back onto your semi soft surface and we can add some extra height one more time. This is high but it's not as high as I would like and I would like to create a sharp ridge line on some of my design elements. So I'm going to draw a detail line from the back on this design element and in the center of these two design elements which will automatically add more height to my design. I'm going to add some height to these sections as well. We're going to do all of that from the back. So back onto our semi on our soft surface. Turn our pewter face down. And I'm first going to do these side ones here. And now I'm going to use my paper stump with the soft tip. And I'm going to color in concentrating on the central part of my design. push it out a little bit And then I'm going to use that same paper stump. And I'm going to draw a line right in the center, straight through. And right in the center, straight through. So I'm using a bit more pressure so that I can clearly see that line from the front. going to turn it back face up and you can see that nice little ridge that that last step has created these two are still nice and soft I can also do a sharp line like that but I like them a bit more curvy than the central part so we place our pewter face up on our hard surface and because we modified it from the back we again need to tidy up the front so we flatten the front of our design using our paper stump. Again, working towards our raised areas so that we can push all of this extra height into that design. So I can now see that there's a little bump that happened from the front of my pewter. I might have accidentally pressed on it while I was working in another area. So in order to fix some little mistake like that, you need to turn your pewter face down, place it on your semi-soft surface, and then using your hands if possible, just smooth out that little mistake, or use your paper stump, with a soft motion, smooth out the little mistake that we made. So back onto the front of my pewter, I can now see that there's no accidental dents. And because we modified it from the back, we need to tidy up the front. So just making sure that everything is nice and flat before we continue. And then we need to define our edges one last time. And then trace once more just to smooth out and define our edges. So it's a, me a soft pressure and you can immediately see the difference that one tracing around 
will do to your design outline. There we go. And that is our high relief design done. It's a nice high design. I've got a lot of space that we need to fill with some bee wax. But before we do that, we have these little frames that we need to add to all of our designs. So I'm going to do a little raised frame on all of them in the same manner as we've done this high relief line. So we're going to go back to our first one, which is the engraving method. And using the same method as we just used in our high relief, we're going to trace our frame both on the inside and on the outside at the same time, then flatten on both sides so that this little frame lifts up a bit. So, onto our lino sheet, working from the front of our design, using our 0.5mm ball tool, I draw in the outlines. I'm using a medium to a hard pressure. And I do both the inside and the outside frame. We then need to remove our pewter and place it on our hard surface. We're still working from the front of our design and now we're going to take our paper stump and we're going to flatten towards that raised area. then we need to take our Teflon tool and we need to tidy up. And then we can trace our design with the metal ball tool. So I've got more than enough of height on my frame by just working on the front. So I'm not going to lift it up any further from the back. But if you feel you do not have enough height, you can now turn your pewter upside down on your soft surface and add a little bit of height from the back. You then need to come back to the front of your pewter, repeat the tidying up and the flattening process again. There we go. So just making sure that the edges is nice and flat. That is a nice little raised frame around our design. We can now repeat the same process on the other two designs. Again, working from the front of our design, 
this is our low relief area we're going to trace the frame on the inside and the outside on our liner And that's our second frame done. You can now, if you need to, add a little bit more height working from the back of your pewter on the soft surface. I'm more than happy with the height that I've achieved working from the front, so I'm not going to add additional height from the back at the moment. We can then continue onto our high relief design and add our edge frame around this design as well. So working from the front of our pewter, on our lino sheet, we again work with our 0.5 millimeter ball tool. From the front of our design, we can draw in the lines from the frame. Still using a medium pressure. And then we need to flatten our design around our raised area. So working from the front of our design on our hard surface, using our paper stump, we can flatten the edges around. Again, we're working towards our design so that we can push all of this extra height into our frame. Once we are done with these frames, we are then ready to do our filling with beer wax or with a polyfiller paste. So one last time doing a little bit of defining and I'm going over the entire design on the outside to make sure that all my edges are nice and smooth before I do the filling of my bee wax. Then 
here we go and that is our raised frame done as well and we have now completed all three techniques and we can now continue to do our filling on each one of these so we have done our engraving technique we have done our low relief technique and we have done our high relief technique so I'm busy heating up my wax at the moment so in the next video I'm gonna show you how I fill my high relief areas with bee wax.